Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Contract Math, Section 3.2, 2012 edition, Slope Activity. Pause while you write Section 3.2, 2012 activity in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's activity objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is to explore constant rates of speed in a table and on a graph. Take a moment to write today's vocabulary in your math notebook. Copy the following key term, definition, and example exactly as it appears into your notebook. Slope is a ratio of the change in y, the rise, to the change in x, the run, between any two points on a line. It is a measure of the steepness of a line. So slope equals the change in y over the change in x. We often call that the rise over the run. Today we're going to be working on page 59 in your record and practice journal. Our job is to complete the table and it says to find the missing speeds and round our answers to the nearest tenth. So we're finding the missing speeds for various animals in, in miles per hour and in feet per second. So to convert from miles per hour to feet per second, we have to do two things. First, we multiply by 5,280. That's the number of feet there are in a mile. And then we divide by 3,600. That's the number of seconds per hour. And then to go the other direction, to convert from feet per second to miles per hour, we do the opposite. We first divide by 5,280 and then we multiply by 3,600. So we have to convert both units. We have to convert the miles to feet and we have to convert the hours to second and then the other direction, the feet to miles and the seconds to hours. So when we take the antelope and we multiply 61 by 5,280, we get 322,080. And then we take that number and divide it by 3,600 and we get 89.5 when we round to the nearest tenth. So it was actually 89.46 but we needed to round. So it's your lucky day. I am not going to go through this with every single one. I'm going to fill in the answers for all of them except for the last three and that's going to be part of your assignment to do as your flipped lesson work. So I'm going to pause and get the answers filled in for you except for those last three. And Thank I expect you, you to Sorry. copy those into your record and practice journal. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete Part A 
and answer parts B and C in Activity 1 on page 59 of your Record and Practice Journal. Be prepared to share during our next class. Remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you need to complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any questions you have for your teacher, and of course, have a good attitude.